What is up everybody? So, have you ever been psyched to show your friend a movie and you finally sit down and watch it with them and they're just sitting there and watching it and not reacting at any of the points that you think that they would have reacted at and in your head you're just worried that they're silently judging the movie and judging you and judging your taste in movies and hating you for putting them through this? Well, we thought it'd be fun to legitimize those fears. We're trying out a new game where two of my friends are given a specific category, they then have to choose their favorite piece of media from that category to show me, and I choose which out of the two made the better choice. Let's hope they don't break in the stress to impress. Earlier, we tweeted out four potential categories to choose from, and you selected Barbie movies. And now, introducing the two friends who are gonna go at it. In this corner, Adrie! Watch out, Barbie Dreamhouse. I'm your Barbie Nightmare House. Great. That, that was good. I like that. And in this corner, Quill! It's Barbie, bitch. All right, how do you guys feel about this competition? Awesome. Yeah, yes. So did you get like a professional judge or what's up? Uh, no, I'm, I'm judging. What? Oh. Do you not think that I can be a judge? No, I mean, man, nobody uh, said that. That's not... It's just you're not like a like a professional, like an expert, okay. per se. Well, I, uh, I'm gonna have to think about that. But in the meantime, are you guys ready to find the best Barbie movie? Yes. Oh, yeah. Yes. Break! Mm. Actually, guys, I only have one front door. Oh, yeah. yeah. Right you're right. <laughs> when the Twitter poll went up, I actually didn't expect Barbie to be as popular as it was. I really thought that either live action anime was going to happen or YouTube original was going to happen. So Barbie is winning. Let's be real, you know, like Barbie's gonna win. Barbie movies ended up winning and I couldn't have been happier because I have no idea what I would have done with something like live action anime. Adrian would have wrecked me. I really wanted live action anime to win just because I want the excuse to make everybody watch my favorite live action anime movie, but in the future. If more people like this video, if people watch it, if people share it, if people add it to their favorites, if people hit the bell, if people put it on their Twitters, <laughs> they give it a thumbs up, they comment 10 times at least, they... Show it to I, your I'm class. done, I'm done. This is enough. <laughs> what? I mean, not, it's this enough. Is, this is breach of contract. This is enough. You're fired. Got back to me and then there's graphics of me on fire. I'm like, no. <laughs> I actually got really excited because I hadn't realized it before, but Barbie winning meant I had to go through my childhood because the Barbie movies meant so much to me as a kid and relive how I felt. I grew up watching Barbie movies and I realized that there were probably a lot of other Barbie movies that I had just never seen because I aged out of watching Barbie movies and they probably were better. <laughs> so I set out took to the streets and asked the youth of America which Barbie movie was their favorite. Do you actually like Barbie movies? Yes, I like Barbie movies. My boyfriend Alex acted as my cameraman. I would start off by saying, can I film your kid? If they were like, no, then I would leave them. But if they were like, yes, then I would talk to their kid. We got kicked out of the mall at one point. The security guard was really, really nice. We're still good friends. But uh, we mutually agreed that <laughs> we should leave the premises immediately and not return. So I figured I needed to go on a little journey of my own in order to get myself a little bit more into the judgy zone because I'm just... A good critic critiques himself. Oh. <laughs> so not a judgmental person. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little scared right now. I'm putting myself in hot water, critiquing two movies and choosing a winner. Being judgy isn't my cup of tea, you know? I prefer a cup of coffee. <laughs> <laughs> so, I thought it might be a fun idea to practice, to get in the mode of, of critiquing and, and becoming a critic. What? So I went to my friend Jack to enlist some help and maybe figure out this whole critic thing together. I think probably the most important thing is, is if it's in your head, you say it. Okay. Even if it's not true, that's like a sign of a good critic. Wow. All right. The first thing I did to figure out what the best Barbie movie was, was look up how many Barbie movies there were. I knew immediately that I could rule out the later Barbie movies because I didn't enjoy any of them. So I looked back at that list of Barbie movies and I figured out that I actually had already narrowed down the list to the early 2000s movie era, which was the era that I had grown up with. So I already felt confident that I had a leg up on that because I am an expert on those. My favorite movies as a kid were Barbie and the Nutcracker, Barbie Princess and the Popper and Barbie Fairytopia. So I had my biases in mind, but I didn't want to leave it to that. I realized that I did have one advantage. I have a little sister. Bella, say hi. hi. You've seen Barbie movies, right? I know you're too old for them now, but you've seen a few. I don't like Barbie movies anymore, though. I used, I seen them when I was little, though. 
That's okay. What was your favorite Barbie movie when you were a kid? I don't know. She just didn't want to work with me, so I lost my child advantage. Once I got home, I compiled a list of the movies that the kids had given me, the three most popular. And the third was the Barbie Netflix series, which I couldn't use, but was probably actually the most popular answer. It's unusable because I, I couldn't show Thomas an entire series. It's not about a series, it's about a little thing. The second most popular was Barbie and her sisters in A Ponytail. The first most popular was Barbie Fairytopia Mermaidia. So I started there. So yeah, we went to a museum of modern art while I went around and critiqued some of the art that made it into this museum. How did they make a hole that big? That went great, I thought. It went pretty well. I can sense it's like a musician's plight. And I was starting to get the hang of things. This I don't understand at all. Completely amateur. Thomas, we're in the gift shop. What? After the Museum of Modern Art, I wasn't finished. I wanted to keep going. So, I don't like how these trees are positioned. Uh, they make me feel weird. And then I felt maybe like... Maybe I like judging. Not that comfy of a bench. B plus. Maybe it's not so bad. That was almost there. Yeah, we got it. The first one I watched was Barbie and the Nutcracker. And to be honest, we didn't give it a fair chance. Oh, God! Oh, that's, that's some uncanny valley. We thought that the pacing was really weird and we got into analyzing that. They spent like two minutes of just two cherub girls being like silly with one another while they display the credits. They also had like a five minute mouse fight where they slowly hit swords. Yeah, so not a winner. Yeah. Uh, let's move on. On to the next one. I went to the uh, Lashley County Library and I checked out those movies and I checked out my favorite movie, Barbie is Rapunzel, just for good measure. So I started with Barbie Fairy Topia Mermaidia. Just through the rainbow, from the world we know lies Fairy Topia. And I got about halfway through before I realized, yeah, this is clearly a sequel and there's a lot of stuff Thomas is just not gonna get if I make him watch this, so we're on to the next one. And it wasn't even that good a movie anyway, so. I moved on to Barbie and Her Sisters, A Ponytail. So I steeled myself, you know, I'm not super into horse movies, but I figured if the kids like it, how bad can it be? Okay, so, having watched A Ponytail, <laughs> Um, I don't know, maybe it just wasn't It was pretty bad. The writing wasn't great, there was too many subplots, I just, I wasn't about it. So I leaned back on an old friend, Barbie as Rapunzel. Um, sloths are not that big, so like a D plus for realism. This isn't even art, that's like the actual skeleton of a sloth. We're in the Museum of Natural History. Jack was starting to piss me off. It's hard to navigate in this museum. Four out of five stars for ability to navigate. Listen, I don't think you should judge while you have to look for the bathroom. Like, peeing makes you anxious. I have to go, Jack. By the way, that's not how you hold a vlogging camera, sir. And if I were to rate him as a videographer, I would say, you know, probably a G, probably a C minus, you know? Are they trying to tell us something? Their audio system is really kind of whack. They get a bronze medal for audio. Sounds like they left some birds Put in it there. back on me. Put it back on me. I am the center here. We are critiquing, okay? Are you zooming in on my face? I'm starting to think maybe I picked the wrong cameraman. See, this is how you hold a camera, Jack. Vlog-wise. Why'd you even invite me? This has already started being a very good musical experience. It's very silly. Yeah, I'm invested in this villain song. Yeah. What I realized while watching Barbie, Princess and the Popper was that I loved these movies so much as a kid because I was watching them as musicals. They were like plays. <laughs> this is really good. And I think if we start trying to judge these as musicals as well as movies, that'll give us an edge. So I rewatched Nutcracker because it was always my favorite as a kid. And I was like, there's just no way that it's not as good good as I thought and like my last viewing was a fair viewing and it wasn't like I went into it immediately thought the pacing was weird and then I was like unengaged for the rest of the movie but in my second watch through I realized this is the Nutcracker ballet like they are doing 
a ballet. That's why the pacing seems weird. They literally staged it as all these characters coming together and performing a ballet. Our revisiting of Barbie and the Nutcracker is going really well so far. I'm being won over. I'm actually very invested in what's happening now. It was very nice and I found that this movie that I hadn't given a chance was probably the best of the bunch. Incredible. I started this one and immediately it was like a sucker punch to the face with how good it was. I was like, of course, why didn't I trust my own instincts? F those kids. They don't have any idea what they're talking about. I know art. I mean, she could have put it nicer, but I'm gonna respect her opinion. Barbie is Rapunzel might be the greatest cinematic masterpiece of all time. We've got Otto the Ferret. We've got magic paintbrushes. I'll leave the rest to you. Go watch the movie. It's amazing. Thomas is gonna love it and I am gonna win. <clears throat> okay, that one is definitely more bitter than that one. That one tastes sweeter than this one. This one just sucks all around. <clears throat> Thomas, those are the same four drinks. <laughs> yeah, you would say that, wouldn't you? All the same coffee, Jack? Freaking, that, I did not like that at all. He was starting to act like a real jack off. What did you get? You just got, you just got, what is that? Hot chocolate. Hot chocolate? That's nothing. Kid's choice. That's nothing. So it was at that point that I, I decided to part ways with Jack and start criticizing things on my own. You know what? You know what? I can't do this. I, um, I don't think I'm still in the place where I need to be a critic. And I feel like I have one more leg of my journey to go before I am ready for the big day. So, excuse me, I'm, okay. I'm out, I'm gone. Okay, look at you, look at you. You're not a critic yet. What is this? You must be more. You must become the critic. All right, is Let's watch some Barbie. Oh my. Don't don't look directly at me, okay? You look away and you listen to me. My voice is supposed to be absorbed, not my face. Yeah, the judge is a real piece of work. I thought my boss was coming in, but instead that asshole showed up. This is the space. This is the space we're working in. Tacky. Anyway, who is this? Who is this? Uh. What's your name? Uh, Faster. Camden. Okay, I didn't like that. Your name now is Timmy. Timmy. Timmy is going to be our cameraman. So listen up, fives. A 10 is speaking, all right? We are here to review the best of the best Barbie movies. Do you think you're up for that? Yes. Okay, don't speak until I tell you to speak, all right? Now you can speak. Yes, I think that we're... Louder, sweetie. Yes, I think that we're up for that! Great, thank you so much. Was that so hard? I don't know what happened after that. I went out there with so much confidence, and the second that he walked in the door, I was gone. I am going to be observing both of your movies back to back. It's going to be a double blind study. Do you know what that means? I don't think this is a double blind. It's not a double blind. Good test, you have passed it. I am only blind to it. Because I don't know which movie is which. I don't know which of you selected which movie to send to me. Yes, I meant to say that. All right, it just, it's shorter if you combine Barbie movies to boobies. All right, that's what we're doing now. What was your name again? Adri. Adri, what's your name? My name's Quill now, I don't know, I got nervous. Quill took my identity and it was like, well, I can't say I'm Adri now, he'll call me out. I had to take her name because what if he thinks that I'm Adri, so then he's like, oh, Adri sucks, Adri's the worst, which of course he would say, and then uh, it's about her, it's not about me, it's got nothing to do with me, so. Now I'm going to go through a very specific detailed rubric. First and foremost, I will be judging based off of characters. That includes character diversity, character development, and just overall, do, are the princes hot? That's, that's essentially what I'm trying to get at, all right? That's understandable, thank you. Second criterion is comedy. I want to laugh, I want to be moved in the funny bone area, all right? Great. Animation quality. Does it look like DreamWorks, uh, How to Train Your Dragon, or does it look like somebody rendered it on their PC? Let's see. Story. I want to be taken on a journey. 
I want to learn something. Do they have a message and did they communicate it to me well? We're dealing with impressionable young children watching these movies and I want there to be a positive message. Who is this now? What happened? Timmy? All right, Timmy looks different. Music, do they sing? Is there good background music that I can just sink my teeth into? Are they a bop? A boobie's gotta have a bop. Does it pass the Bechtel test? I wanna hear female characters talking to each other, not about men. And last of all, I'm gonna be judging based off of the movies Je ne sais quoi, which is French for I don't know what. What are the standards for that judgment? I don't know yet. I won't know. So if your movie doesn't have the thing that I don't know what it is in the movie, then I don't know what I'm gonna be grading. But I know it might work out in favor or not. All right, impress me. His criteria are tough but fair. The hot level of the princes, it's something I think that my prince can really follow through on. The music. Hey, you better be saying nice things about me. Okay, nice things. For the most part, the rubric I felt pretty comfortable about. I think music I've got down, Prince hotness I've got down, because Eric, when he's in Nutcracker form, is grade A cutie. Even when he's like a prince, he's pretty vanilla, but pretty cute. All right, so, Quill, heads or tails? Great. Hey Siri, flip a coin. Coin landed on heads, Adrian is the winner. Glasses on. Is it all set up? Yeah, it's all, it's all set up, so. Yeah. Thank you, you that's enough. <laughs> Oh, we are in for it. Apparently it is Barbie in The Nutcracker. Never heard of it before. Sounds intriguing. First of all, right off the bat, the credits are breathtaking. The music is delightful. Whoever wrote it, good on them. We will arrest you. Look at the screen. Hello. Oh. All right, curtain up. And there's our Barbie. What is her story? Who the hell is that? Dancing is beautiful, light on her feet. She's okay. I'm never gonna get all these steps right, Barbie. I was right, that's Barbie. You've just got to find the courage to try. Like Clara. Clara? Clara lost her parents when she was very young. She and her little brother Tommy were being raised by their grandfather Drosselmeyer. <gasps> a story within a story, that's bloody brilliant. I can't see a thing uh, wearing these sunglasses. I can't see any, oh. There we go. And then she wakes up the next day and just has a normal day like usual. That's what the story is going to be about, right? <sighs> okay. Okay. We have our enemy. Even as a nutcracker, <gasps> you're a thorn in my side. Oh my gosh, is that Tim Curry? This movie just gained like 5,000 points. Let my scepter shrink you small. <laughs> well, oh no, Barbie, you're turning into a doll. The horror! You've got nowhere to run, nutcracker. Tim Curry just makes any character so good. <laughs> oh no. Ah. It didn't sound like Tim Curry. <laughs> oh, good. He's down, but not out. Would you mind changing me back before you go? I'm afraid only the Sugar Plum Princess can reverse the Mouse King's spell. There you go. I've been trying to find her since the Mouse King turned me into a nutcracker. You mean you used to okay. be? Okay. Not a nutcracker. Okay, there's the backstory. <laughs> this is crazy. <gasps> oh. Welcome to Parthenia. It's so beautiful. Hmm. Interesting. Oh. Enter the classic <laughs> Nutcracker character, the bat. May I say you're looking specially regal this evening, sire? <laughs> Right. Boobies well, are really start, teaching the youth about micro emotions. What? I love it. With just a little bit of animation, they just captured but such a mood. Well, uh, what have we here? <laughs> a wooden spy? Some new kind of mouse king trap? Uh, let's start with who you are and what you're doing here. <laughs> I'm Nutcracker. This is Clara. <laughs> We're both victims of the mouse king's magic. That's my favorite British accent, just the... Just a ton of. <laughs> it's, a story. it's the truth, told to me by Prince Eric himself. Huh. Prince Eric, he's the reason we're in this mess. You make the prince sound pretty awful. You're more than a nutcracker, Prince Eric. Okay, good. Why haven't you told? Barbie, me? once again coming through, being smart. Oh, floaty rocks. This is always a recipe for disaster. <laughs> <laughs> Just killed that one person, so big deal. 
There's more to being a king than having a crown. Oh, suddenly you're an expert. You'll never gain their loyalty until you've earned their respect. I don't need their loyalty. I don't even need them. What a good, that's, that was a good Nurse, line. You're nothing but a coward hiding behind a magic wand. I obviously didn't shrink you small enough. Your mouth is still much too big. <laughs> My nut is about to change. The misogyny. Barbie, me? roast Smaller. him. Smaller, you will be. No! Oh. <laughs> Back to where he belongs. Hell, the sewer. Oh. Don't worry, Clara. I'm just wood. Remember? You and I know you're much more than that. Yeah, come on, buddy. Prince Eric. Oh, uh, Barbie, you killed him. He <laughs> he looks a little like Prince Eric from The Little Mermaid. Oh, all right. Spell comes with a new dress. The princess has been with us all along. What? What? Clara, it's you. You are the Sugar Plum Princess. <gasps> I couldn't be. It all makes sense. You saved me from the Mouse King in your parlor. Uh, you rescued us from his dungeon. Your bravery led to his defeat, uh, and your kiss has broken his spell. That's. You are the Sugar Plum Princess. Look. Interesting animation again. Oh no! Oh no! I love you. Such a sad way to the end. <laughs> Tommy, did you take my nutcracker? Why would I want him? Aunt Elizabeth, have you seen my nutcracker? <laughs> Look who I Hello. Meanwhile, the real nutcracker in the land of Parthenia is still so sad, and the kingdom falls back into ruin because the rat king took it back over. It was a whole sad thing, but, you know, she's found somebody else that looks exactly like the Nutcracker, so... Oh, and then we're back out into this. She's doing it perfectly now. That's... It's almost impossible. Always knew. Well done! I'm left with a just a wonderful feeling in my heart. And it's all thanks to that wonderful princess. Tim Curry. I'm pleasantly surprised with that movie. I called one of the twists, I did not call the second twist, and now I kind of feel stupid for not <laughs> seeing that ahead of time. Overall, I thought it was a cool twist on the Nutcracker story in true Barbie fashion. So now we are entering the second movie that has been submitted to me. Okay, we're also starting this movie in sort of like a sunlit room. Rapunzel! All right, it's another Barbie movie based off of a story that has been told, and I'm curious how this one's going to put its own spin on it. Oh my gosh, they got the London Symphony Orchestra in for this movie? Well done. Directed by Owen Hurley. Owen, you better impress me. Oh gosh. Oh. <laughs> Do they all start with the framing device of okay. Barbie telling a story to this little Freddy. one? What am I supposed to paint? That's up to you. Oh. You remind me of a story. <laughs> Kelly's like, here we go again. <laughs> long, long ago, in a time of castles, kings, and magic. Is it just me or the animation feels a little bit a nicer, manner. maybe? Yes, London Symphony Orchestra. Barbie once again Almost putting herself as the protagonist of the movie. I would too. Oh my gosh, she's got two animal friends. That's twice as many as Nutcracker. Uh-oh. Oh, okay. Same thing, Mother Gothel. Oh, that's cool. That's tight. Animal cruelty. Not cool. How was your ride today, my lady? Invigorating. Bring me a snack. Ooh, your little friend will do. Oh my gosh. Okay, so those animals aren't imaginary. That was one of my theories. Or, wait, or are they all imaginary? You don't think I got moves? Because I got moves. That sounds like Cree Summers. If it's Cree Summers, that's awesome. Oh, I see a very big hairy spider. <laughs> Kidding. Why does she have a dragon and a rabbit? I'm really confused. This is the second secret room this dragon has helped her find by accident. Barbie's dream castle. 
Hello, Father. Don't tell me you've been here playing all day. Show me how you can fly over the magic wall. Well, wait, so she can leave the castle? So she could have just joined Rapunzel around back? Whoa, boy, whoa. It's just more white children. Oh, uh, two, two white children. Oh, this guy shows up now. Do you live in Wilhelm's kingdom? Who's he? The king who ordered that. Why would he do such a thing? What? Wilhelm claims our king did something terrible to him years ago. Did he? No. But if he didn't do it... So he's plotting now to just talk? kill children Explain? via trap pits? It's too late for that. <laughs> the only way to end the feud is through force. Well, that seems foolish. Oh. You can't keep me locked away from the world forever. Watch me. There we go, there's the tower. It's finally arrived. It's just really stretchy. <laughs> there we have the origin of the tower. And he happened to be a prince. He almost got killed. Rapunzel! What? This is a trick. How would he have known where the castle was? It's behind an invisible barrier. It's a trap. It's a trap. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I figured. Okay, so we've got a perfectly normal paintbrush, am I right? Yeah, totally didn't see that coming. This dragon keeps moving the plot forward with her clumsiness, and I kind of love that. <laughs> and Barbie was vaporized. Not that hat, girl. Not that hat. No! Okay, good. Thank you, Penelope. Thank God. It's just your hair. It's not quite right. Barbie, draw a sword and just cut her. Oh my gosh! Well, that... Okay. That's pretty bad. No, the masked lady finally stops. <gasps> you mean you're not Rapunzel? Well, the hair really had me. Mother Gothel. You loved me. I know you did. No, Gothel. I never loved you. Well, just break my f***ing heart, why don't you? Oh. Spurned lover. You stole my daughter. No! For the thousandth time, I never stole her. No. I did. What? Just kill the ferret. Thank you! Rapunzel and Stefan lived happily ever after. All right, so they really wedged that wow. paintbrush idea into that I story. I had a magic paintbrush. Kelly's eyes look really red. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> she's she's you know stoned. What? I know Rapunzel. <laughs> you do. Oh, okay. That's That's Barbie. Do I wish I had a magic yeah. paintbrush. <laughs> Angelica Houston, I was right. Cree Summer, I was right. I'm getting good at this figuring out voice actors. So that was Rapunzel. It was a fun romp through a mystical land. And I want a magic paintbrush too. Shit. <clears throat> How are you guys feeling today? So good. Yeah, good. I don't care. All right, so I have now watched both of the movies, and after much deliberation, I think I have my choice. I'm gonna go through a couple of the notes that I had about each of the movies, and I don't want to see reactions from either of you. The first movie that I watched was Barbie in the Nutcracker. Beautiful, beautiful show. There were definitely some pluses. Barbie was good. As Clara, she was kind of this steadfast, good spirit who didn't go through a lot of growth, but as it was brought to my attention, some characters who are the main protagonists of the movie can either go through a character growth or they can be the Paddington bear of the movie that just kind of changes others around them. I'm just wood. You and I know you're much more than that. I really dug the villain in that movie, surprisingly. Obviously, it was an added plus that the Rat King was played by Tim Curry. That's... That's a win-win for me. You've got nowhere to run, nutcracker. Plus, I just felt like there were stakes with him. Like, he just wanted everybody to suffer, and I believed it. Those peasants who do challenge me, living statuary be. Not to mention, his sidekick, 
him was just one of my favorite parts of the movie. I'm going into the comedy section now. Comedy was definitely emphasized by Pim. There were other characters in it that were trying to be funny, and it worked for like a little bit, like the Major, with the voice that he was using. Captain Candy! But the Major was good for other points in the movie, but maybe not so much for comedy in the long term. The animation quality was lacking. I feel like maybe it was a sign of the times. The one thing I did find entertaining was the micro emotions that were displayed, especially on the Rat King's face. There were just moments where I was like, I just want to gift that and use that on Twitter. As for the music, it was the Nutcracker, so like, it was good. As far as the Bechtel test goes, it started strong. The two females talked with each other. It was Barbie encouraging her sister to keep at it and practice, and I really liked that. But after that, there weren't too many other female characters that talked within the rest of the Nutcracker, and it's mainly Barbie encouraging the Nutcracker to believe in himself. And then the Je ne sais quoi, the I don't know what about this movie, I don't know if it had it or not. It probably was a bad category for me to include in my rubric. Shut up. All right, the second movie I watched was Barbie's Rapunzel. Now, this movie, I was very interested in the characters. For one thing, unlike Barbie in the Nutcracker, I did feel like Rapunzel went through a little bit more growth. She had to overcome her personal fear of Gothel, and even though the passage under the castle was scary, she went anyway, she trusted herself. The relationship between Penelope the dragon and her father was probably the most character growth, other than Prince Eric in the Nutcracker, that I witnessed in both movies. I see now that you truly are a mighty dragon, Penelope. And then the characters other than Gothel kind of petered off after that. Gothel had a great twist at the end, which I really enjoyed, and the rabbit was like okay, and the ferret, you really, really celebrated when that ferret roasted. So I guess he succeeded in making me not like him. Prince Stefan was a little bit of a dunce, but you know, he's a prince. That's most fairy tale princes. The comedy in the movie, the rabbit offers the most opportunity for it. I wasn't feeling the rabbit. You know, he was just kind of like this curmudgeon -y guy that got beaten around by Penelope on accident. The animation quality was definitely better than the Nutcracker. Maybe it was because it was made later. More of the micro emotions could be seen. They were more visible. Give him to me. Uh the transformations, the spells, they were all beautiful. The magic paintbrush, I loved that. So there were just definitely some significant improvements with the animation. The story, the story, it was interesting. I was hoping for the same thing that I got from the Nutcracker, where there were twists and there were things that I questioned, but then in the Nutcracker they answered. Like, why were the little pixie girls trying to get Clara and the Nutcracker together? It was because they were trying to break the spell. They needed to kiss in order to do that. Or like, the reveal that Clara was Princess Sugar Plum was the coolest thing ever. I was not expecting that. They got me. And they were able to tell when we could tell certain twists, like the Nutcracker being Prince Eric. But there were certain things in this that I was confused by, but maybe there were answers to it. For instance, why was Rapunzel allowed to convene with these animal friends? One that could fly. They weren't trying to keep her from flying. The father obviously wanted her to fly, so why was that a thing? Where was this castle? Why was this castle there? Just certain decisions where I wanted more answers, and I was thinking maybe they would give it to me, but they didn't. As for the music, I really enjoyed the original song from Rapunzel. I like the London Symphony Orchestra being in it. Barbie knows how to pull some strings. Um, <laughs> Did not mean that as a pun. And then, as far as the Bechtel test goes, I mean, obviously there was, again, Barbie was talking with Kelly at the beginning, and then there was also Rapunzel trying to convince Penelope that the strength was in her all along, and I found that empowering. The character arc for that was the highlight of that movie. And then as far as the je ne sais quoi, again, I don't know what it is. There's something there. I want a magic paintbrush. They succeeded in that. I really shouldn't have included that category. I was really setting myself up for ruin. But all of that being said, I think I have my decision. All right. It has all come down to this. I hold in my hand the award for best taste in Barbie movies. And this trophy goes to myself. And now for the second best taste 
in Barbie movies. The award goes to Barbie in the Nutcracker. <laughs> here, 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 so that I can applaud you for once. Quill, Quill, I want to say, it was a very hard choice, and it was very hard. Don't cry. Please don't cry. Sorry. On top of your award, you will be getting another special prize, a specialized Ken doll that looks like me. Oh my god! I'm gonna treasure this. This is going above my bed so I can stare at it all night, every night. <laughs> yes, you're welcome. Well, if I was gonna lose, at least I lost to an amazing movie like Barbie is the Nutcracker. Congratulations to Adri. Nutcracker is the best Barbie movie. And on top of this, Adri, Barbie in the Nutcracker is going to go up on our winner's wall. Cut to winner's wall. Yes! Our winner's wall! Where all of the winners of this game will go from henceforward. That is it for this game. Hope that you enjoyed it. Back to you, Thomas, in my living room. Whew! All right. Critic Thomas is gone. Don't have to worry about him anymore. Until the next video we make in this series. Hope you enjoyed that video. What did you think? Did you like this series? Do you agree with my judgment? Was I wrong? Was there a favorite Barbie movie of yours that was not? Uh... Uh, mentioned? <laughs> Comment down below! All of that! Also, if you want to suggest future categories to do in this video, you might want to consider becoming a YouTube member because that is the best way for us to see it. You don't have to if you can't, but that is how we came up with the four categories for this video. And you'll be able to vote on the next four categories if you follow me on Twitter at Thomas Sanders. If you're interested in any of our previous videos, you can click over here. And if you're new to the channel and would like to become a subscriber, click down here. That is it, and until next time, take it easy guys, gals, and non binary pals. Peace out. What the hell was that all about? I didn't want to say anything. <laughs> That's my Barbie! <laughs>